when you work at a theme park, you've got to love the guests. And there are so many moments that stand out as things that help make my job so worth it and that I enjoy doing to make their visit worth it as well. Here are my favorite guest moments while working at the theme parks. <laughs> I loved working at the parks and interacting with people. You get to know so many people and meet them from all over the world and all walks of life. and It's just fun and watching them come into the parks and have a great time and knowing that you are a part of making that happen. It's one of the best parts of the job. So here are some of my favorite moments and things I like to do and things that happen with me that help make the job so amazing and wonderful while I was working at the parks. Now, of course, I worked at all of the Disney parks in Florida, but I spent more time at three of them, Magic Kingdom, Hollywood Studios, and Epcot. I've also worked at Busch Gardens in Florida for a couple years. I worked at Silver Dollar City in Branson, and all of them had moments and peculiarities of each park that helped make them each special. For Magic Kingdom, that's the first one when people think of magic, there were a couple really neat things. One... I really liked it when I was taking pictures of the castle, and I actually got put at the very first place right off the town square, because there's a unique shot that you can get when you can get it that you can't get at any other place in the park. And it's actually of people as they first come into the park. It's hard to get it, especially if you're busy, but when you can catch it, it's an amazing picture, because as people walk around that corner from the town square, and then they come around the corner of the Emporium or the hat store and they see that castle for the first time, especially the kids. It was just so neat. You'd watch them light up and, oh, wow. And I loved grabbing that moment. Absolutely loved it. I would try, if, if I could, to get the picture as their eyes lit up and the face and the big grin and... Oh, that was a cool place to be. It really was. And trying to capture that moment for them. And of course, many of those kids coming around the corner were already dressed up. The girls oftentimes were dressed up as princesses. Every now and then you'd see the boys dressed up as uh, pirates or as some of the princes. I love watching the kids in costume. That was really cool because a lot of them would actually try to act out the role. Kids get to have fun that way at the parks that the adults don't. Unless you go to the not-so-scary parties. Then you can wear a costume. But it was a lot of fun watching that. But when it became really cool, when, man, this kid was going to get attention, was when you saw them dressed up as you. So when I saw a kid dressed up as a photo pass photographer at Disney, and it did happen a couple of times, or at Silver Dollar City when they came dressed up as the conductor, not the engineer, the conductor, Man, that kid was going to get attention. When I'd see the photo pass photographer kids, I'd make sure that I let them take pictures of their family. I'd hold the camera, but they'd line it up and they'd get to push the button because, after all, they're the photographer. They got to do it. Just had so much fun. When I remembered, I tried to keep a little notebook with me and I tried to get their autograph because, after all, they look like me. If I had stickers, I'd give it. I mean, that kid, if they were dressed like a photographer, they were getting spoiled. If they were dressed as the conductor, they were going to get to be the ones to yell all aboard for everybody, try to get them involved in the spiel, let them walk up, try to show them the engine. We did that for the kids dressed up as engineers, too. And we let this kid be the star of the show. Loved when they did that. That that really made us feel special. And, of course, we were trying to make every guest feel special anyways, but, yeah, they got a little bit extra. Now, working on Main Street, really, in a lot of ways, was... One of my favorite places to work at Disney, especially at the opening. Everybody comes in at the opening happy, smiling, almost everybody. <laughs> and they were much more willing to uh, banter with you, joke around, laugh, play. They're excited about the day. Uh, at end of the day, they're usually excited too, but they're worn out. So it's a little different. But it was just fun playing with everybody as they came in. And as a photographer, we really enjoyed when you could get those guests to play with us a little bit. Now, the regular photographer deal at the time was you would get one vertical picture 
that would go from a uh, waist up or so and get the whole castle or spaceship Earth or the Tree of Life. So you get your icon shots and then you get a horizontal one. But then we got to play a little bit. We were encouraged to do creative shots. And when you could get the family that would play along with you, that's what made your day. We'd get families doing tadas and holding the castle or Spaceship Earth like it was an ice cream cone or various things. But when they got excited about it, oh, we started pulling out all the stops and what else can we do? Let's try this. Let's have some other fun. And Oh, I loved it when the guests wanted to play because, hey, I was going to play right along with them. Uh, it, it made it fun for everybody. Uh, we had a ball doing that. I love too when guests would get excited about meeting characters. Oftentimes, when we were shooting pictures of the characters, the photographers would also kind of help run the line. We would be taking the pictures of the character, but we also had the next guests right behind us. And so it provided an opportunity for us to interact and talk. And I loved talking with my guests, getting to know them, hearing what they were enjoying, and being able to give them some advice, or just laughing and smiling with them. The more I got to know the guests, the more fun it was, because you could hear what made them tick. It made it easier to help them interact with the guests. Here, let me give you a suggestion, an idea, or tell the character something that uh, the guests liked. It made it easy to give them advice and tips, or just to talk and get to know them. I love getting to know the guests and the stories they had. They oftentimes had some amazing stories. And when you begin to hear those stories about why they were at the park, oftentimes you find out that real life was not going well. Uh, there were a lot of times I heard stories about families with illness, with cancer, with other family issues. There were a number of times, especially at Disney, but at Silver Dollar City as well, where you would find out from the family that this was kind of their last big fling with somebody who was sick or aging and, and they knew that this was going to be it and so it was their time to really throw everything off and just go for it and make lasting memories. <laughs> Those would get you a little bit teary-eyed. Okay, what else can we do to make this special? Because when you hear that, you really want to go out of your way to do something. People that even though they came in with issues weren't letting them hold, they weren't letting them hold them back from having a good time. In fact, oftentimes it was kind of an impetus to make sure they had a good time. And, and then you wanted to kind of join along and, and do what you can to make it even better. They were the ones that really reminded me why I was there doing what I did. They were the ones that really inspired me. That uh, yeah, I mean, I, I loved the guests. I had more fun playing with them, teasing the kids, uh, teasing the adults, having a good time and helping them to have a good time. But when you saw those guests that were like, you know what, we're not going to let life hold us back. We're not going to let issues hold us back. We're going to go celebrate life and we're doing it here. And then to be a part of that and know that you got to help them. That was amazing. And it's why I did what I did. So I hope you enjoyed this little look at what was so great about the parks. Let me know. Share it in the comments below. Don't forget that like, share, and subscribe. Also, I want to give a huge shout out to my financial supporters and my brand new patron, Ichabod Bones. If you want to know more about Patreon and YouTube membership, check the description below. Thank you so incredibly much for watching. God bless. Now, of course, I worked at all four of the Disney parks in Florida, Magic Kingdom and... Uh, would make sure... We would help... So, I have a question for you. When are you going to actually beat somebody that fights back? <laughs> Here, why don't we do this? You hold on to this. This way you can hold on to something really important like me. <laughs>Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to know about contact information, fan pages, merchandise, and more, please be sure to check the description below. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to know when I have new ones, well, make sure you hit that subscribe button right up there. And if you want to see another one of my videos, well, I've got a great one for you right here. 
And a huge thank you to these wonderful people here who support me on Patreon and with YouTube memberships. They get behind the scenes information, special perks, and more. If you'd like to know more about that, well, make sure you check that button right there. Thank you so much.